Alright, so let's talk about uh, one Z and continuous Z. So we can use this to set our IMM brush to snap or no snap on the surface. So this uh, setting is a bit funny because it's uh, normally it, you would think that this should be found in the brush menu, but it's actually in the picker menu. And uh, it's one of the things that uh, ZBrush does that makes it a little bit confusing, which is why I would want to uh, customize my interface for my students and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to learn from this. So if you need to have the brush to be straight and not snap to the surface and you lay down the curves or scalp, you set the uh, depth from continuously to 1Z. So you choose 1Z and then your brush will be straight. If you use uh, continuous Z, your brush will snap to the surface. So this one it will snap to the surface like this. Okay, so let's have a look. So let me use my, uh, I press F5 to have this uh, pop up window. If you don't have this, uh, but you have our interface, preference, store config, uh, store custom UI, and then you have our custom UI, you press F5, you should get these brushes. And then uh, look for custom, uh, this uh, one of our favorite hair brushes, Macron R. Okay, so I'll just go to the side. So by default, this hairbrush, uh, it comes with continuous Z. So when we apply it to a hair, it will blow the shape like this. So it will kind of snap to the surface. So if I'm selecting my, my hair, my face, it will snap to the face. But sometimes we don't want it to snap. Sometimes we want it to be straight. Then the... But if we were to do it straight using a continu continuous Z, you will have this result. It's not entirely straight, isn't it? It would you will snap to the surface and then become straight. So it's wrong, still wrong. So if I want it to be to be uh, free from snapping on the surface, don't want it to snap to the surface. Just press a one Z and then it will no longer snap to the surface, and I'll get a uh, one straight piece like this. So why do I want to do a one street piece like this? Because I have another tip for you. So tip number 27, great hair control. Do a band curve once you have something straight. So uh, we do a split unmask part and then delete the curve. And then we press W, custom, gizmo, select band curve. Okay, so delete the curve, split unmask parts. So select the part, press W, uh, set this uh, custom gizmo, and then set to band curve. So what it does is that you can go to this orange button, you can up or down the resolution. So the most good part is we have one resolution here, so we can control this dot at the end. So we control control three dots, and then the, we can shape the hair quite easily like this. So uh, if you watch my video, you will also see how I do that using this method, and I uh, have pretty good control over this. So I hope uh, you guys will be able to learn from this. So this uh, is pretty useful. We can also twist or turn these parts, these different hair parts. We can twist and turn. And uh, we can also make the resolution higher once we get into shape. Then we can have even more control from here on out. Okay. So that's one of the methods to do it if you want to do it this way. And so uh, as I was setting to my reference, uh, it's also good to rotate using the X axis or Y axis. And then we save the view. And then set it back to rotate XYZ to axis to rotate normally. So what I'm talking about is um, my reference looks like this. And then the, when I need to fit it to the location, It's actually a bit tilted, you know, so so I should actually tilt it slightly. So in the order to tilt it, I need to set it to rotate on Z axis first. You can give it a try then. And then we, you can see that our camera is tilting to this direction like this. So why is that happening? Because uh, the we cannot use it, use ZBrush like Maya, and we cannot control the camera physically, but we can rotate the axis like this. So if you need, to rotate the, your character, uh, feel free to use one of these axes and rotate the x axis, and you just rotate like this. So you only have uh, we only have these few controls, and hopefully, we want to stick to as much as the of the symmetry as possible because um, we don't want to 
just rotate the whole character like this. Oops. So I don't want to just rotate the char character directly like this. So when I'm facing a front view, I will no longer have my my uh, symmetry or my my because I, my head is tilted now. So so it will give me a little problem. Although I might be matching closer to reference like this, you know. But on the wrong run, I want to keep as much uh to be straight as possible. So I do need to undo everything and uh, so that I keep everything straight. Okay, so keep in mind. So that's why I have this tip for you, and uh, hopefully you will be able to uh, understand and uh, use these two axes to set on your reference, and then it will help you to match the reference better. Okay. Uh, another tip for you is uh, do not do not uh, dynamash the hair together. I have uh, this on another video, so I won't go through it here. And then uh, Merge Street 2, I have it on another video also. And then maybe the last one I'll just go through is uh, use Move Stronger. Use Move Stronger because uh, some of our hits, uh, I saw some of my students, their hits are a little bit um, distorted like this. So use your hit might be distorted because um, your resolution is too high. Okay, you're supposed to slowly go up the resolution and your resolution is too high. So you can lo lower the resolution or you can use uh, Smooth Stronger to help you. So it will help you uh, replace the card default Smooth that we have. And then uh, you, you help us uh, smooth some of these uh, distorted areas that uh, you could have on your model. So uh, for example, let me go to Lightbox. And then normally it's on Projects, you go to Brush, and then you go to Smooth. And you double click on smooth stronger and then it'll give you a warning, you just click OK. And then now when you hold down shift. So uh, let me distort my model a bit. So let's say my model looks like this. And if you hold down shift, now your smooth stronger uh is much stronger than the one before. When you hold down shift, it will just give you smooth stronger now because we selected it as our smooth brush and then the after every restart, uh, if you want to get it back, you need to manually click it, unfortunately. But uh, this is actually very good. I like it a lot, smooth stronger. And then uh, it gives us uh, more power to smooth things when our resolution is already high. So if not, uh, you may need to repeat smooth a lot of times in order to smooth some things out. Okay, so I think uh, that's all the tips I have for today. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.